tall R waves in V4 and V5 with down sloping ST segment depression and T wave inversion are suggestive of left ventricular hypertrophy with strain pattern. LVH with strain pattern usually occurs in pressure overload of the left ventricle as in systemic hypertension or aortic stenosis. Similar pattern may also occur in long-standing severe aortic regurgitation though the usual pattern in aortic regurgitation is left ventricular volume overload. Negative P waves in lead V1 is indicative of left atrial overload. Shallow T wave inversions are seen in inferior leads. Two supraventricular ectopics are also seen in the rhythm strip. They are characterized by their premature nature, a P wave of different morphology preceding the QRS. In this case, merging with the T wave of the previous beat. Narrow QRS complex and an incomplete compensatory pause.